Okay. Too late. I'm already going. Look, there's my husband in there. <laughs> Has to do the housework now that I'm doing so many videos. <laughs> that's not. That's not true though. <laughs> that's not true. He just waved at you guys, but I don't think you can see him. Anyway, hi. My name is Tammy Neff, and I got a funny hair sticking out there. <laughs> my name is Tammy Neff, and you are on my page called Tammy Loves, where I love to share the things that I love, and I hope you love them too. That didn't. <laughs> very well but that's what I that's my goal that's my goal is to share things that I find fun and pretty and hope that maybe you guys will too so one thing before I get started though I want to say this right out of the gate um, everything that I'm using is things that I've had at my house okay I am NOT going out to Hobby Lobby I don't even think our Hobby Lobby is open I haven't been to Hobby Lobby in a month or two um, maybe more. It's been a long time. I have a lot of stuff here and I'm also Amazoning. So, um, I had a lady not going to follow me anymore because I'm telling people to go to Hobby Lobby. And I'm like, I'm not, I didn't mean that. I tell people that because you say, where did you get that? And I say Hobby Lobby, <laughs> but that doesn't mean now, like tomorrow, go get it. I'm just telling you where I got it. And there you go. So I feel so bad that she mistook um, my videos um, but yes yeah, so I felt like I needed to say that um, but I'm sure she's not on here because she said she is never following me again. <laughs> so oh I hate that I hate that right you you know so anyway let's get going I know I'm not, I said so anyway twice now and that's three uh, good morning Linda good morning Diane so I'm instead of using the wire ring that I used yesterday I thought I'd give you guys another option and I've had these. I got them at an antique show. I thought they were really cool. I was going to do something with them. I didn't know what. was thinking maybe an arrangement sort of like, well, I would have put it like that. Maybe an arrangement for the wall, something. I've had them for years. They are 14 inches. I don't know. I think they're, I've tried to find them on Amazon to give you a link and I wasn't able to. Oh shoot, and I, I did go get a link for the wood balls that I'm gonna to use today, which are completely different than what I used yesterday from Amazon, and I forgot. So I'll put that in the comments when the video is over, okay? But I couldn't find these on Amazon. Now maybe you guys, maybe these aren't embroidery hoops. I think they are. But I put in chunky wood, 14 inch embroidery hoop, and I, I did it twice and I couldn't find them. So this is what I'm gonna be using though, um, be because I have them, number one. And, and this one, if you can tell, is rounded, and this one's square. See the difference, not the block part, but like this part. See how rounded and soft this one is? And this one's more squared off. It's not gonna matter. Um, actually, I ordered more of these balls so that I can do both of these wreaths, and I'll probably be putting them online for sale. Um, the, the balls I'm gonna be using now, I think were like $16, $17, something like that. Um, and, and I'll tell you what, it might behoove you to click my link and then kind of look around, you know, and see what you can find. Um, you might be able to find, I just clicked on the first ones that I found, I'm not even sure it's the exact same company I bought from the exact So um, you might wanna do a little price shopping. I just clicked to be quick and then I forgot to copy it. So let's get going here. Hi, Katrina. Hey, hi. There's my chalk couture friend. Hello, hello. Hi, Monica. I'll say quick hellos. Hi, Debbie. Hello, hello. Okay, guys, let's get going. I'm going to send you down, 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 down. And here is my wreath. Here are the balls that I'm using, but instead of the solid ball, now let's talk about this real quick. Um, these were the balls I used yesterday. And I had bought these originally because these were, I thought these were expensive. So I bought a whole bag full of these and I, my intention was to cut them in half and come to find out I can't. Um, I tried and I'll show you what happened. I tried and it went and it did that and it went flying. And I thought I better stop and wait till my husband gets home 
And he said, you absolutely cannot do that. Do not be messing with the drill when I'm not home, yada, yada, yada. So anyway, or not the drill, but the saw. So I got in trouble. And so I took it to, so he said, you can't do it. So I took it to my stepdad. He says, you can't do it. So um, I, and so instead of trying to adhere them to this cut in half, I decided to get the wire ring, have a hole drilled. Uh, so we had to cut the wire ring, force these, get the hole right, force these on, and then weld the wire ring shut. So yesterday's project was a little bit harder. This one I think is gonna be better. And um, so I went ahead and got these so that I could show you maybe the original way. Um, so yeah, it teaches me for saving a buck, right? I shouldn't do that. <laughs> so, okay, here we, here we go. All right, so first of all, whoops, I think I'm gonna plug my phone in. I, I've kind of been watching a lot of videos this morning, so let's do that so that I don't run out of um, juice and not know, because I didn't, I, I usually check that. So let's, I, I think, now yesterday, remember my ring was really skinny, and so I didn't, so I was worried about my flowers. These are the flowers that I picked for today and they were in my basement. I'll have to screenshot my containers full of flowers so that that, if by chance she said she's never following me again and she might be peeking just cause she's curious, then, <laughs> then I could um, show her that I truly shopped my own basement that I had shopped at Hobby Lobby forever ago. And actually, I'm thinking the poppies were from my daughter's wedding like two years ago. So, you know, whatever. People don't know. They don't know what they don't know. So, um, what I'm gonna do is just hot glue these balls to the wreath. And I'm only gonna do so much, but what I wanted to point out is why I like this is the wire ring, my flowers were wanting to flop, and I, I wired it to it, I grabbed it like that messy, bow that Brooke does, you know, the, um, at refab, she, she was the first one I saw do, uh, I think she calls it a rag bow and where you just lay things across and wire it, which I'm going to do in a minute. But, um, this allows me, look at all this gluing surface that I have. So this is going to be where my flowers go. And so my balls, I'm probably going to go like here to imply that the balls go all the way around, but they won't. So these are two inch cut. So I'm going to just start, let's see, I think what I need to do is glue the ring so that the ball hits rather than gluing the back of the ball and hope I hit it. Okay, so these are just wood balls. They are solid. They're cut in half, but I do not recommend at all you guys cutting them in half yourself. I tried. It doesn't work. Okay, doesn't work. Okay. So one thing I see that I messed up here, I can see my glue. I was keeping the glue going all the way around and I can see a little bit of glue there, so don't do that. Okay. Um, so you wanna start, I, I learned about a finger width apart. This is my first time to do this, you guys. So I'm just kinda learning with you. Whoops. And then you stick it right into the hot glue. I'm trying to keep, make sure that, the, that they stay even here. And this is a lot less, this is a lot less work than the other. Um, I, I think I like the other better, but when I got to adding up everything, it's no wonder they're selling for $150 and up. Um, I think 120 some was the cheapest, 125 plus all your shipping and stuff. So um, I can see why they're so expensive because by the time the balls are expensive, the hoop, you know, 10 bucks just for the, metal ring, that's that's a lot, I mean, that adds up fast. So, but you are gonna be able to see this, you know, see that, but, but straight back, I think it's awesome, and it's all wood, and it's all the same color, so I don't think it's really gonna be a big deal, but I am gonna make these two just because I ordered these balls, and I'm gonna make this one. I didn't order enough balls to make two because I wanted to try it first and see, and I'll probably be putting both of these on my website because I don't have anywhere to use them. Um, the one that I made yesterday, I did have a lady reach out and ask if I would sell it. And I thought about it, but this morning it did um, move just a little bit down, even though I put that big wad of hot glue there to keep it from pulling down and I could see some wires still. I just don't feel... Um, professional enough with the, with that one it was a little tougher to do so uh, whoop, so I, I didn't I didn't sell it to her and I'll tell you what someday I may I may decide to 
Um, but yeah, I just, I don't know. It's, I'm not a professional. I don't know how to, I, I don't know. I don't know all the things. So <laughs> I just, um, you know, we just do the best we can here. Um, and, and I feel like uh, it's relatable because you guys are just at your houses too. You're, I mean, there might be a professional on here somewhere, but you know, we're all just home doing things. So this is all inspired by these wood beads that everybody's using. I have large ones. I found a, I found some large ones. If you watched yesterday, I couldn't find them. I found them. And then here's some small. So this is what's inspiring. I made a bunch of those. Beth's going to be putting some online for sale. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Um, I think I used 16 of the other. So I'm going to wait. I'm going to put my flowers on. And then if I need to stick another one in, which is what happened to that wreath, if I could have stuck another one in, that would have fixed it. But I, I pulled it up and wired it down and bent some stuff over and it's perfectly wonderful. But for those of you that may have went online and tried to find them. Um, so here we go. So are you guys, I can't really get you up any higher. Let me, I feel like you're not able to get far enough back. Hang on a minute. Let me see here. Let me raise it up. Oh yeah, it, I can't get you down anymore. It won't. It won't go. So that's about the best I can do for you. Um, I'm not looking at comments right now. Actually, I could. I got my iPad right underneath here. I don't. I can't, if you can't see on down. Oh, and I don't even have it on. So let's. We'll turn it on and see. Oh, and it needs plugged in. Okay, so I'll unplug my phone. <laughs> Uh, someday I'll have it all together guys so again I went shopping in my own basement and I have these flowers um, actually I think these may have come I had a client that I was working for who had a bunch of flowers and she wanted she didn't want them anymore and she was gonna get rid of them and I took um, I got some of them from her this might be those I'm not sure um, but I do know that this is like way longer and I did try my cutter to make sure, oh shoot, I forgot to go out and get my other cutters again. So, so this is a big cutter. This is, this is a big one. I got it for a Christmas present for my husband one year. <laughs> Not kidding. <laughs> but I loved it because I needed it and wanted it, but I didn't know I needed it and wanted it until I saw what it was. I'm like, oh dang, that's a pretty handy thing because it's hard to cut these things, right? Um, yeah, because my other cutter would just look at this and laugh and say, you expect me to do that? Forget it, <laughs> I can't. So, all right, so let's see here. Yeah, these are Hobby Lobby. I can tell by the tag that's left on here, they did come from Hobby Lobby. Whether they were the ones I got from her or not, they're still from Hobby Lobby. Okay, so we have this much. And I have another one of these, but I don't think I'm gonna, oh, it's a big one, it's different. Oh no, we just cut one off, it's not. It's, not, it's the same thing. Okay, so let's get rid of that one because I don't think I need it. I don't want too much of the same flower. Then I have um, some greenery here, like I used yesterday. I have just a little bit more of it. I have two more sprigs of it actually, so I'm gonna work both sprigs in and then that'll be gone. Actually, I should probably try and do it with one so that I can save some for the other wreath. Let's see, because I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna wanna do one more. I don't think I grabbed enough greenery, so I might not be able to finish finish, but I can get you a really good go with it here. So again, I'm just doing like, like, the ribbon bows where I'm laying this way and this way, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna grab it, but I've got all this surface to hot glue to if I if I want to as well, which might make a lot of you feel a lot more comfortable with hot glue, right? Let's see here. I need to go up in this so that you don't see that stem. So I'm gonna go up in, I'm gonna go right there so that that bottom leaf is still hooked in there, but I did lose these. So we'll see if I need to hot glue those in later. All right, then I have these two pod things. I don't know what they are, but they're, whoa. Oh, I just got a, I just got something. I don't know what that said. I hope it didn't block you guys. Should have read it. It was a big black box telling me something. But these are like dried, 
something. They're like dried seed pods. I don't know what they are, but they were in my basement in my stash. And I thought, well, they'll go really good and keep them earthy. And I love how the shreds turned out. And I'm actually going to make some more shreds here in a little bit. So I thought I would show you guys how to do that. But I love the contrast. And again, I love how the, the tea stained shreds match my wood unfinished wood balls. So I'm going to use that as well. So I know that these, I need to cut these down for sure. So these are my button cutters for my crafting, but they're actually, they are a wire cutter. I think they're a wire cutter. I don't know about tools, but they're flat and they cut the back um, shank. I had a, one of you girls taught me that word. Don't remember who it was now, but I'm thankful. But the little shank on the back of the button, these get right up to it and snip them off flat. So I love using those. They just happen to be down here. Okay, so this is gonna be up. So here's where we are so far. Then I have some of this um, picking up the golds and the gold tones in here. I have some of this, I don't know what it is, but I love it. It's like a, it's like a gold moss. Now I don't, that piece I must have either ripped off or something. So let's get that out of here. Not sure, but I do love that. So I'm gonna lay that in here as well. And I can move this around once I get it in here. Okay, so this is kind of where we are right now. And I didn't even think to grab all of my greenery that I had yesterday. I've got just a tiny bit that I grabbed to throw in. Not really a good amount. Oh, and then I grabbed, I grabbed two of these big uh, hydrangeas. Now you guys, I can see some messages. I see my little thing moving. So I will answer your questions. Let me see if this thing, uh, oh, what's my pass? Nope, that ain't it. Sorry. I, I thought maybe I could get my iPad fired up here and I could try and follow up. Why is it not staying up? Get my iPad fired up here and I could, um, answer questions as I go. That way I can keep moving two but look I think that's gonna be great but do I need two I have two here I kind of think I do okay well there you go big surprise I'm, I'm surprised but I think I, I mean I guess I'm not because I brought two but I'm surprised oh, I'm surprised oh <laughs> I'm surprised after I started putting it together, I didn't think I would want to, but I kind of do. I think it fills it out nicely. They're all so soft and pretty. Love it. Saving the leaves to hide anything I might need to hide. I'm gonna keep that leaf on there. Where's, okay, let's see if I'm tough again here. So, whoop. oh yeah, that was easy. Why is one easy and one was hard? That's weird. Okay, so I have one going that way. I'd really like to have one going this way but I feel like I need it over here more. So, okay, so here's what I've got. And again, so this is about my middle where I'll be grabbing. See, my hands are right here. So I'm just laying here from the back. I'm just crisscrossing. One goes in this way and one goes in that way and this way and that way, all right? And I'm doing this, I didn't have any foam. So yeah, lady that is mad at me for sending people to Hobby Lobby, I have no foam. And I'm trying to figure out how to do this without going to Hobby Lobby, which like I said, I think is closed anyway from what I'm seeing on Facebook, but still, I'm not sending people there and I'm not going there myself, I promise, I promise. So, all right, here is one thing I think I'm gonna do. Just to save any troubles, and I, it's not really trouble, but, I mean, just to make sure that, that nothing happens. I think I'm going to cover this space right here. Can you guys see that? Oh, here I am. Okay, I came up. Hopefully, I've got the sound off. I might have been watching Netflix. Uh, yeah, okay, sounds off. Okay, so what I'm thinking is if I stick this in here with hot glue, in case my flowers slip or, you know, lean forward or something, you won't see the hoop. So I'm gonna do that here, and I'm gonna do it again down at the bottom. I gotta get another glue stick. There, I'll grab a few. So, oh, I had one right here, sorry, sorry. Okay, let me see what, what you're saying. Who is mad at you, Tammy? Um, Tracy, it's, I don't know what her name was, but 
um, I did a video, I think it might have been my carrot video. I don't know, it's one I did a couple weeks ago and it came up on my feed this morning. Someone who must have shared it and she found me and um, she commented that um, she will be leaving, she will be leaving my page because, I forget exactly how she put it, it wasn't very nice, but basically she said that she wasn't gonna follow me because she was new to my page and she was not going to follow me because I was sending people to Hobby Lobby when they're not supposed to be out. So I understand that and good for her for feeling how she, you know, feels and having the guts to say it, but she was wrong because I'm, I'm not telling you guys to go there now. I'm answering the people that are asking where I got it from so that when they can go, they can get it or they can look online. You know, we do still have internet service, so... I did listen to her and I do understand what she's saying, but that was not my intention. And that was my comment back to her was that I was sorry that I, you know, gave her that impression and that I hadn't been out Hobby Lobby in months and all that. So let's see if that takes care of what I'm seeing here. Oh yeah, totally. So see, even if I held, even if just, let's just say I held it way up, see that leaf is kind of covering there. I could fill it in with another leaf and I, like take that stem off. I don't think anybody would really even notice with everything that's going on. So I think that's really cool. Oh, and I didn't get another chalk couture sign ready. I love that little chalk couture sign touch that I added yesterday. That was so cute. I didn't get all that stuff out again. I kind of forgot about it. So, okay. So here we are right here. And I'm really, I'm really liking it like this. I need some more, oh here, I did. I grabbed another one of these. I need a little bit of that down here, I feel like. I don't know how much, but I feel like I need some. So let me, let me clean this up, it's a mess. I obviously used it somewhere else. Oh man, okay, forget that. <laughs> I can't do that. Okay, let's get out the big dog. Here's why you need a big dog, look. You just do that and it comes, oops, well. You do that and it comes right apart. Now I just have one wire. There we go. See how easy? So there you go. It was hard. I don't know what that's called. I'd have to ask my husband and maybe I can link it for you. Uh, I don't know if they're on Amazon. I got it at probably, he probably got it at Lowe's. He got it for me for Christmas a couple years ago. I don't know, five years ago or so. I don't know. Better than a sweeper, right? <laughs> Okay, so, oh yeah, I'm loving that I put these leaves like that. I really, really, really am, but I'm feeling like I'm gonna add this one this way just because it's a little different. I think I am right now while I'm thinking about it. So I'm, I'm cutting the stem completely off because I kind of want it to look like it's, um, I don't know, coming out of the ball. Maybe I should go that way and just hide it up in. Maybe I will, I think I'll do that. So I'm just gonna glue the leaf and let it hit wherever it wants to hit. I'm gonna glue it really well. Hit it. And again, I am not a professional wreath doer, maker, so wreath doer. <laughs> so okay. Looks like lock cutters. Yes, probably so. I want to say they're channel locks, but I don't think that's right. Somebody oh here it says bolt cutter right on it. Pittsburgh bolt cutter. There you go, it's a bolt cutter. Somebody corrected me, it's not a channel lock. And why I know that word is beyond me because I don't even know what that is. Uh, this is my happy place. Oh, thank you, Linda. Thank you. And Ginger said the same thing. No, we don't need haters. Um, it's a harsh action before she asks what, I know. Yes, that's right, that's right, Tracy. Um, did you cut out the balls? No. Now, Barb, I talked about that in today's video and yesterday's video. Do not buy solid balls trying to save money and try and cut them. Let me show you. I did, and it went, let's see, here's my camera up here. And I went, it went flying, and I, it scared me to death. And I only tried one, and I was holding it really tight, and I was going along that, I was holding it like this, and I was shoving it across the, the thing, and it went and it flew and I yeah I shouldn't have done it when my husband wasn't home but I tried because I knew he wouldn't want to do it and so I tried so I ended up and had to take him to my stepdad who cut the metal ring so instead of being able to do this wreath I, I did another wreath because I had $25 worth of wood balls that I didn't know what to do with 
So I, so he drilled a hole, he cut the wire ring, the, it's, it's hanging over there on my door, but he cut the wire ring, put the balls on for me, and then welded it shut. So I asked him if he would do any for you guys because I had a couple people reach out and we could do that and then I could send it to you. I'll put together plain and you guys could add your own flowers. If you're interested in that, message me. Um, uh, let's see, it was $35 for the wreath and balls as long as I could, the ring and the balls. And then um, uh, I'd give him 10 bucks to do it. So how about that? So anyway, well, um, if you guys want it that way, and then you can make your own still and not have to mess with welding and cutting um, cutting the ring and drilling the holes and all that stuff. I'd be happy to help you out. I asked him and then he says, I'll do another one for you if you want. Cause I asked him if he would do another one. And um, I said, how about 40? And he just laughed, so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if he'll do 40, but we'll see. He did it pretty quick. So, all right, I'm to here. I'm sorry, now I'm rambling. See, I get off, I start answering your guys' questions and I get off. Okay, so do not cut the balls, Barb. You better go ahead and buy them already cut. And I'm gonna put a link in the comments when the video's over. I forgot to do that first. They don't go all around. Um, I do have, let me go get it. It's right here. This one's the one that I made yesterday. If you missed my video, Barb, this is the one I made yesterday and it does go all the way around. See, these balls are solid. Okay, I'm just giving, oh, and I didn't flip it to read because I didn't know I was gonna put a word on here. But, um, so I'm gonna do the exact same thing just with different flowers because I don't have any poppies. Well, actually I had two poppies left and I have a girl that claimed them. So she uh, messaged me to see if I had any more. I only have two. So anyway, this is what I made yesterday. I'm just trying to give you guys a different version of yesterday's that you don't have to mess with trying to drill the balls, cut the ring and weld the ring shut. So I think this one's going to be easier for DIY people because I couldn't I couldn't do the other wreath myself. I had to have help um, with with my stepdad. So okay, so now what I'm going to do just for wherever it's going to grab hold, I'm going to go ahead and glue some of this down just to keep it from swirling around. Okay, right. so I'm going to. I'm gonna press that down wherever it wants to grab. Everybody grab hold. Everybody grab, be happy. Okay, bye. He is? Okay, I can't go, honey. All right, so pressing down. Oh shoot, I'm sorry you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, I forgot to put you down. So I'm pressing down, I, all I did was drizzle glue all over um, that this part. I just drizzle glue all over. I'm sorry, you guys, I'm sorry. Forgot my camera was, up. oh, and that's really holding really well, but of course we're still gonna wire it. So I have uh, my wire right here. Um, yes, you could use uh, clamps, as somebody mentioned that yesterday, and I do love using those zip ties. They're so easy, but I, again, forgot. I don't know where my husband keeps them out there, and he just left, so, and I just not thought of it. So, and I'm not gonna leave you guys. I hate walking out on videos if I don't have to. So there we go. Um, I'm gonna see if that's enough. I just did the one yesterday and it's holding still, so I think that's good. Okay, so now I do have a little bit of this brighter green. I wonder if I just wanna put like two snippets in there. Let's see. Here's the one snippet. Now this stuff, I did, I did carry this at my shop because there's my tag. So I've bought this at a wholesale uh, florist, but just find some, you know, you guys aren't gonna find the same. Well, you, this stuff, I'm, I recognize it all from Hobby Lobby. So I'm sure you'll find all of this stuff if you're looking for it. Then once you get everything in, you can just, it's all anchored down. So then just shove it in wherever it'll go and it'll stay. But this is why I say I'm not a professional because I'm not, <laughs> I'm not gonna claim to be something I'm not. And obviously I'm not but I am a DIYer, figure it outer. So if you guys are the same, then you're gonna, you know, then we're gonna get along great. So um, there you go. The DIY figure it outer, that's what I am. <laughs> now I have never heard anybody say that before. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so yeah, that little bit of green just added a little, you know, 
a little brighter color to it. Um, I told you yesterday that I felt like my colors were kind of fallish, but I love that they're neutral. So these will go like in anybody's house and you could put, if I had colors here, I would show you, but you could put a big red bow on this or a big purple bow or navy blue bow, any color you would want would be nice. So, oh, I forgot to put these pods in. I think they're cool. Let's shove those in there too. I'll tell you what, where'd my glue, oh, I dropped dropped it. Let's put those in. These are just little wood pods. I do not know if they have these at Hobby Lobby. I am not sure where these came from. Probably pulled them out of a, it could be that I pulled them out of a, um, an arrangement like a thrift store or something like that. Oh, I'm not sure I'm going to get that in on this side. Let's see. So it needs cut down for sure. Where's my cutter downers? Here they are. Cutter downers. <laughs> Right, here we go, and let's put some hot glue. I'm not sure I can get this in, so I'm almost afraid of hot glue, but let's do it anyway. Put a little bit of hot glue on there in case it goes somewhere. There's my wire, can I push, there, oh yeah, yeah. Okay, so I pushed my wire up enough to house that. Oh, I love it. Okay, so now, and then I'll have to move, I'll wiggle everything around once we get it set. So now let's do these muslin shreds, and I'll tell you what, since he's gone, I will go to my kitchen right after this video, I'm gonna go out to my kitchen and I will do some muslin shreds for you guys because I, I know I talk about it every video, but I have so many people that haven't, oh, I don't like that. Look at there, I can see that. Let's cut that out of there. We don't need it that long. See it, it's a big stem. I can see it, I don't like it. Let's see if I can get to it. Oh, I don't wanna cut the leaf part off. Okay. Okay, it didn't go all the way. Get these in here and get the rest. Let's see. Oh, I can't get in there. Let's see here. Where do I gotta be? These are not the right cutters at all. Hang on there, guys. I should have just left it, right? You probably couldn't have seen it and I could have fixed it later. Whoops. And we're hot glued in. So where's my scissors? Um, hang on. Let's see. Whale poo. I don't know where my scissors are, so <laughs> what was I even gonna cut off? Oh, I didn't know I was gonna cut off now. Oh, well, we'll just leave it, it's fine. It's whatever. Okay, maybe just, maybe just because I don't know what just happened all in there, and I'm gonna try to hurry. I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down just to hide anything that might be, cause see, I'm still seeing a lot of branchy things there. So I'm just gonna do that. And this is where my big bow is going to be, so you're not going to see that, but that just helps me make sure that you're not going to see, um, uh, I want to say branches, stems. You're not going to see stems either, so okay? So that's, yeah, that's my little trick. Tammy's tricks, right? We have some Tammy's tricks here. Okay, so like yesterday, I tried all, well, I didn't try today, but because of yesterday's wreath, I tried um, lace ribbon, I tried black ribbon, I tried all kinds of things. And my favorite thing, thank goodness I had laid it out, was this stuff. Well, I didn't lay it out. I always have it right here beside of my work, where I'm working. But this is just muslin shreds. Actually, I think these are sheet shreds. And well, I'm gonna do a video here in just a minute, just, just a little bit. I'm gonna come right back on and I'm gonna show you guys um, how to do these things because I keep getting questions. Where do you get it? How do you make it? What did you use? How long does it soak? Like all the things, okay? So um, I thought I would just come on and show you. Okay, so I'm just made a big bow, the big, I call it a tennis shoe bow, right? Where you, just how you tie your shoes. I just did that. And then these will all hang down and then I'll give it a haircut here in just a jiffy. Let me put you up so we can all look at it together and see how we are. Oh, I love it. Dang, isn't that cute? Is that a stem? Oh no, that's a pod. Okay, oh, it's so cute and I love it all. I love all the raggy things. Yesterday I said I would give it a haircut. I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm gonna leave it. And if someone decides they wanna buy it, they can give it a haircut however they want it to be because it'll get all sh you know smushed around in the box probably. But oh my gosh, I absolutely, I love it. And I can add a sign if somebody messages, just you have to message me. And if I don't sell it through message, um, I will put it on my 
um, on my website for sale. Once I, I'm hoping by next week I'll have things on the website. So, oh, thank you for the hearts. Yay, I get hearts again today. It's a good day. So I'll also hang a piece of like chiffon ribbon. I ended up, I think I got off before I did this yesterday, but I added this kind of um, clearish uh, go away ribbon. I think if you um, see, see how, here's what I was talking about. See how it kind of slid, but it didn't move because I hot glued back here underneath the bow and it didn't move. So, but the balls move. So I don't know what moved, but I'm gonna have to wire I'll leave this on the table I got everything out. I'm gonna have to wire that down, but that's why I'm so glad I didn't mail that to that lady because she would have been, you know, gotten it and been like, geez, you know, maybe mad at me and I don't, I don't want that. And see, I've got another hole. There's kind of a hole right there I don't love, so I may take a leaf from today and just shove it. Actually, I'm just gonna do it right now. I'm not even gonna glue it. But look, that fixed that hole, see? So that's why I'm like, oh, I'm always so uncomfortable to sell things like this because they move around. It's not like a sign. You know, you make a sign and the sign is a sign is a sign, right? And it's not gonna do anything. But with these things, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I'm just nervousy. I'm just nervousy. Oh, my hair is really sticking. <laughs> why? So, all right. Um, let's see. So I usually have been here lately going through at the end and answering all of your um, questions. I didn't do very good with the iPad after all that trouble. Thank you, Kathy, thank you. Thank you guys for the hearts. Oh my gosh, it just warms me up. Okay, elegant. Thank you, Tracy, yay. Thanks, Penny. Um, did you make the bead wreath? Yes, I did yesterday on a video. So if you go to my page and scroll back just two or three posts, um, I put a picture of it finished, like three or four pictures close up, and then I made the whole wreath with the Choc Couture paper sign. And um, I talked about the balls and how not to cut them and all the things, everything in that one. Um, just touched on it this one. Hi, Rose. Kathy, <laughs> late again, you're fine. Diane, figure it out or that's right, new Tammy word. Oh, there's my mom, Nancy Brewer. That's my mom, hi honey, she says, almost missed you. Um, the pods look like protees. Okay, I, I don't know. I don't. I have no idea. They could be. Uh, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, you love, love, love it. You gotta make one. Good, Barb. I'm gonna put the link in as soon as we're done. I put it up in my notes, and so I'll put a link, and all you have to do is click on it. It's the same price. Um, I always say that they'll give you like 40 cents on $20, but I have never yet got a, a money from Amazon. So please don't think I'm trying to sell you anything. I'm just trying to make it easy for you. When we put links in, Anyone that's on doing this stuff, I don't know why I'm bending over, just lift you up. Um, they, um, they, you're supposed to be able to make a little bit of money and, and until you have earned $100, you don't get a check. So you have to earn $100 in a month or you start over. And I've never sold that. <laughs> you know, it, it, you know, you sell a $100 item, you might make $2. It's not very much. So don't feel, and it doesn't change your price. You go look at, you can get out of our video or out of our post Go log into Amazon, type in what we put, scroll through, find it, and buy it for the same money as if you would have just stayed put and clicked it. That's why most of us put it on there is more for your convenience than for us to make money. We're, we're not, we're not. Some people on Instagram that are sharing like a lot are making some money. Um, so there you go. I don't I get off on my little tangents. Uh, always brighten your day. Thank you, Miss Connie. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Joni. It was very dangerous to cut those balls. Yeah, I might got in trouble. <laughs> oh, okay, Ginger, thanks. Hello, Janet. Lock cutters, they were called bolt cutters. Happy place to be, that's right. I like a happy place too. Harsh action, I think I already talked about this one. I already talked about that one must be nice to be so self-righteous. I know, it kind of gutsy. I mean, speaking of balls, right? <laughs> she kind of had, she kind of did. Oh, well, I, I, I don't tell you guys all that for sympathy. I just tell you because it's like, can't believe it. Conversation. Uh, half balls don't go all the way around. Y yes, I'm sure it does. And I could not find the hoops to link for you guys. I had two um, that I had bought. Uh, I think I got them at a vintage market. I don't think I bought them brand new. 
um, but I had never seen them like with this big thing on here. And I had an idea, I liked how chunky they were. Um, so I had an idea and, and they've been in my basement forever. And then I saw a picture of these half balls and I thought, oh, how cool. And then I thought they were expensive. So I went for the whole balls and couldn't cut them. So it's been a process making these. Um, Tracy, I answered that one. A little bit of that, I, I try to, Ginger. Um, you've been wanting to make, they are expensive. That's right, Barb, but you, you gotta get the halves. You just gotta do it because the whole ones are just crazy. Like I said, uh, my stepdad said he would make more. So if you really like the solid ball, you know, the look of this better than this, okay? Um, he'll make some for you. Um, and I'll give him $10 a, a reef for the trouble because he's gotta cut it then get the welding stuff out, weld them, and drill all of those holes in the balls. So it takes it takes a little bit. Um, but yeah, he, he would do that for you. I know he would, and then we'll ship it to you. Um, oh, they're from South Africa. Okay, I had no idea. Let's see, did I already? I'll have to show my mom, because she used to live there. I know you know that, but these girls don't. Um, what about floral wire? Yes, that's what I used. And I don't know what you call this, but it's kind of got a fabric wrap to it. See that? It's floral wire, it bends really easy, but it's like this, you get different gauges of floral wire, and I was always using this, and it's so thin, and then I found this. See the difference there on my forehead? Or Yeah, see the difference? So I really love this, and then my the very best thing is pipe cleaners, without a doubt, but I always worry that you'll see them. The greens are always a little different, but a brown would work too. And they're, they feel so much better on your fingers too. So pipe cleaners are good. Um, hey from Texas. Hey Jeannie. Why are people like that? I don't know. I wish I had a little bit of that gump or whatever you call it. <laughs> I wish I had a teeny spot of it because I don't, I have no backbone at all. I'm jello. So yeah. Oh, you like my hair. Thank you. Um, so pretty with the wire ring. Thank you. Yeah, I liked it too. After I, you know, found that he could do it for me, I, I, it was in my head. I just couldn't, you know, when I'm spinning it out there to my husband, he's like, you can't do that. You just can't do that. You just can't do that. Why do you buy this shit? That's what he said. <laughs> That's what he said. Why do you buy this? You know, because, <laughs> you know, why do you, why do you do this to me? Oh, this hair. I got a curl that went really wonky. I hope that hair girl isn't watching me playing with my hair, but I'm done. I'm just chatting now, so it's fine. She just saw the project. She's probably gone, if she's even here. Because, yeah, I had somebody else complain about me touching my hair too much, and I was like, what are you even talking about? And I went back and watched the video, and I did. I was constantly going, getting my hair out of my face because you're leaning over when you're working, and it's in your way. So that's, that's the reason for this. Thank you, whoever that was, to tell me she could not watch me because I was playing with my hair too much. So... Oh, all these critical people are just going to get me all straightened out, aren't they? <laughs> so I think that's it. Whoops. I think that's it for questions. Um, yes, Jen, I haven't figured the price yet, but yeah, I think I'm going to sell this one and then I, I'm going to order the balls. Um, I linked them. I can't remember if I went through the, and ordered them or not, but I think I'm going to order enough because I only have one, two, three, four, five left and that's not enough to do this. And I've had this in my basement forever and I still have flowers down there and I think I might do some color flowers. So whenever it comes in, um, <laughs> I know Kathy, it's fine because I really did need to know that because when I, I told, I said this yesterday in the video, you must have not saw me, but <laughs> I, so I got that comment and then I'm like, what is she talking about? And I watched it and she was right. I kept doing this all the, through the whole video. I was doing this. So then I went and visited my mom um, and we did keep apart, but I, but I took her some oranges. My daughter shipped us some oranges from Arizona. So I took some over and anyway, I, I made the comment. I was telling her about this lady's comment about how I play with my hair too much, thinking that I would get sympathy and support, right? And instead I got, well, honey, you kind of do play with your hair all the time. So, <laughs> so yeah, there you go. So see, I needed to know. I needed to know that. And that's something that my husband hadn't pointed out yet. So, um, yeah, some people are really perfect. Yeah. But maybe, you know, probably shouldn't be on here if I'm going to be that way. But yeah, message me, Jen. You're the first one that I've seen that's asked about it. Oh, there Shayla asked to. I don't know. I've got to try to figure out what I have in it. Um, and I will be making another. And I do have, I have at least, I know I have more of this. 
big gold hydrangea. And I know I have one more of these for sure. I don't know if there's any more down there. So I, I don't have any more wood pods. I know I have more gold. I don't have any more of this, I don't think. So it'll be a little different. I could make another one really close to the same, but not exact. So if you two girls message me, I'll let you know. But I do have to figure it. And um, I can make another, but you'll have to wait on the other because I've got to order everything in. So, Or I can do colors like I was... I was planning on doing some colored flowers because I have some down there. So, okay, I'm going to get off here before I start getting mad faces or <laughs> somebody says something like shut up and get off. So I'm going to come on then in a minute. See all this? I made all of this last night watching TV. All of this is shreds. Um, this is my light that I'm always fussing with. So these are all shreds because I only have, I'm down to this much and none of them are stained. And these are muslin, these were sheets, which are a mess, I'm gonna show you. So I'm gonna jump off here. Um, I think I'll just go right into the kitchen and get going. So, oh, whoops, you're, you're into my chandelier and my light and all the crap. Okay, we're gonna go in there and then um, I'll show you how to do this. So, yes, Anne, I made two. I made one yesterday, solid ball, See the solid wood balls? That's my little ribbon hanger. Again, I don't know how to do these things. I'm just a, I'm a DIY wannabe. And then I made this cute little Choco Tour. It's backwards. Uh, I'm not gonna switch. You, it says hello. Um, and I made it on cardboard and scrapbook paper. And then I added these flowers. So it's, um, yeah, and I've got a little issue here. I'm, I'm gonna wire this down while I'm here. I've got a little issue with these balls going. But the wire ones, you'll have to rewatch. But I talk all about why that's probably not a good idea. But I also tell you that if you want, I can get you the balls and the wire, take them to my stepdad, have him cut them, drill all the balls, and put them on for you, and I can send them to you and give him $10 for his trouble. Um, and then I made this one today on this video. So you'll have to look on my back on my page, just a couple posts for the other one. And I did it on an embroidery hoop with the half balls. So you get the same look from the front. Um, it's just not quite the same. And I had someone wanna buy this one and I didn't wanna sell it. I am feeling a lot more confident with this one because it's not moving. I had a lot of surface with this. I had a lot of surface to hot glue to and I wired it and I'm feeling better with the professionality, is that a word, of this one than that one because the balls are moving a little bit and he got them tight you should have seen trying to get them on they were tight but um anyway so that's that's where i am that's what's happening i tried to put a glob of glue yesterday to keep this one from moving there's the glue it doesn't stick to wood or metal very good but it it didn't really work so what i'm going to do is get in here and i'm going to wire this down so then that we're done with worrying about that but um that's why i didn't sell this one it's just because it, it was a little I was a little unsure with it being on the wire. It's fine on my door. It's just for me to sell it to you. I'm just a little nervous. So still sitting here. Yes, like you can see me. <laughs> way, and I do that too. I know exactly what you mean. No money, mom says. Oh yes, he's because I don't know how many people are going to ask for one mom. So um, I'll split it with you. How about that? I'll take a commission for finding the buyers and then you... <laughs> At least he'll be able to take you out to dinner when all this is over, maybe. So, all right, you guys, that's all I have. I'm going to fly. Um, know that if you do want the solid ball wreaths made, you have to give me time to order everything in, and that's as long as they have inventory and are still shipping. But we can do it whenever, you know, just know it'll be coming if you want. So we'll chat over in the messages if you want to message me. I'm Tammy, T-A-M-I, Neff, N-E-F-F, -F, or you can message me here through... Um, Facebook, but a couple people weren't sure they had the right person. So I guess I've never messaged myself to know how that works, but I get a lot of messages over there. Or you can find me in Messenger as well. So however you wanna find me, let's let's do it. So I'm gonna clean this, I'm not gonna clean this up. I'm gonna leave this mess. I'm gonna go straight to the kitchen. And we're gonna get started on those. I'm gonna do it on a different one just so I can have a different title. So when somebody down the road says, how do you do those? I can say, go look for my video about muslin shreds, so okay. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Uh, I live in Ohio. Are you talking? Oh, no, she's talking to my mom. Oh, yes, you two need to chat. Yes, Helena's the one that lived in South Africa. Yes, I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So, okay, Amazon has the balls with the holes in them. 
Um, Barb, I don't know, and maybe they do. I don't know. I don't know how big the holes are. He drilled the holes to fit the wire. Like I said, he had to force them on. So my worry with that would be that they would be so loose. So you would have to glue maybe the first and the last one or something like that. So I'm just saying, um, I don't know if I would, I don't, you do what you want. <laughs> you do what you want, but thank you for letting us know that they're there. I don't mean that bad. I just know we had a, a lot and I'm thinking if they were really loose you'd really be fighting them so you would definitely have to glue them down somehow his are tight and I'm still kind of fighting them a little bit so all right so yeah and and you still have to cut your ring and get your ring welded shut however he felt like if you got the balls positioned just right that they would um, they wouldn't come apart because it would have to they have to kind of be a little bit rounded so he felt like, and he's an engineer, so he felt like uh, me doing him leaving, um, doing this, welding it shut, maybe wasn't the right thing. Um, and he tried to put the balls over the weld to hide the weld, and it snapped. So it's not an easy thing. So just yeah. But if you if you don't want to, Tracy, I just don't know if the. If the holes that are pre-drilled are the right size for the ring, I don't know how to let you guys figure that out. But I'm just saying for the, you guys are more, <laughs> more into it than me, I don't know. So I'm saying for those that don't know, that want one and can't figure out, they, they'll think they'll be able to figure out how to do it, I'll help them. So those are who, yeah. So, or take a chance, buy the balls with the bigger holes and figure it out. Whatever, I'm just here to inspire. <laughs> And help you if I can. So I'll see you in a minute in my kitchen. Bye. <laughs>